probably my greatest role model uh, was Bob Simon, is Bob Simon. Um, to me, the, the level of his writing and his incredible ability to have the courage to go and tell difficult and often painful stories without feeling the need to make it all about him. Um, it's something that I, it's like an example that I really strive towards and I channel it and think about it a lot when I'm writing and when I'm working and um, he's probably my, my greatest role model. So you had watched, you were familiar with his reporting and then you got to meet him when you were at CBS? I did and, and he was, uh, he's wonderful. I mean he's such a charming, funny, frank, character and we had so much in common because he, he shared this sort of uh, passion for the Middle East, passion for travel um, and so we would have so many great chats and I'll never forget he wrote me an email after I had spent six weeks in Egypt during the whole uh, coup or whatever you would like to call it when Morsi was ousted and Sisi came in and we were anticipating this crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood uh, sort of camp, tent city that they had set up at the Rabah Adawiya Mosque. And I sat there for six weeks. And then I was being honored with an, uh, an honorary doctorate at Middlebury College, so I had to fly to the U.S. And the day I flew to the U.S., of course, the Egyptian army went in and dismantled the camp, and it was horrifying. And so it was like a knife in my heart to the point where I was like crying and, you know, as a journalist, even though you know you can't control the news, it still, it still stresses us out so much. But Bob Simon wrote me a great email and he's like, hey kid, here's a list of all the stories that I missed. And then he just like went through, you know, six day war. I was skiing and like, you know, before cell phones. And um, he was so generous. Uh, with his advice and with his good humor and he was just wonderful and absolutely irreplaceable.